Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Solar Impulse 2 was not the only electric airplane at JFK last week. There is a new micro light in the UK. Evening flying expands at AirVenture. I'm Brie Cross, it's June 22, 2016, and this is Airborne Unlimited. Solar Impulse 2 was not the only solar-powered aircraft at New York's JFK airport this last weekend. The no-fuel Solar Impulse 2 was joined by another clean energy airplane that uses a combination of solar, electric, and wind power, which landed at New York's John F. Kennedy Airport after a 200-mile flight. The Luminati Aerospace Substrata is a 400-pound solar electric aircraft with a 45-foot wingspan. The Substrata employs a blend of solar power, batteries, and what the company calls wind harvesting technologies. The company says the Substrata extracts energy from any wind gradient, which allows the craft to be powered by relatively small battery packs. No other details were provided about the wind harvesting technologies. Founded in 2015 by inventor and CEO Daniel Preston, Luminati Aerospace is based in the former Grumman Naval Base at Calverton on Long Island. The company is reportedly working on perpetual solar electric flight as a platform for commercial internet and government's intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance applications. Recreational aviation comes in many shapes and forms, and one of those is a sporty little single-place airplane. It's been reported that the first production, Ego Microlight Airplane, has rolled off the production line and been delivered to its new owner. The Ego is manufactured in Cunnington, Cambridge in the UK. The airplane is powered by a Winkle rotary engine that can run on MOGAS. Because it has a maximum weight of only 595 pounds, it does not require certification in the UK, but in the US it would require an FAA airworthiness certificate. According to the EGO website, the airplane is designed to accommodate a pilot that weighs up to 242 pounds, the airplane has a service ceiling of 10,000 feet, and can get off the ground in under 600 feet. It cruises at 90 knots with a range of 330 miles. They say it has some unique avionic systems, all packaged into a glass panel configuration. This even includes a built-in flight simulator as part of the airplane systems, which gives a new meaning to the term hangar flying. It's reported the factory-produced Microlight airplane is available for under $71,000. After the break, more after-hours flying at AirVenture. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Welcome back. If you would like to be a supporter of Airborne Unlimited, send an email to jim at aero-news.net. This year at AirVenture Oshkosh 2016, EAA is packing even more fun into the week's schedule with additional evening flying events. Added to the Wednesday and Saturday night air shows this year, AirVenture goers will enjoy evening demonstrations throughout the week evenings by both World War I and Valdez Stoll aircraft. On Monday and Thursday evenings, military biplanes and triplanes will take to the skies over Oshkosh as part of the World War I Aviation Centennial Celebration. On Tuesday and Friday evenings at the Ultralight Strip, attendees can get a taste of the popular Valdez Stoll competition. And if this is not enough for your list of choices, evening model RC airplane flying will take place at Pioneer Airfield adjacent to the EAA Museum. If you haven't kept up with what RC model airplanes are doing these days, you'll be in for an exciting surprise. With some 2000 Aero TV programs webcast to cyberspace, sometimes it can be fun to look back and enjoy some of the places we've seen, the flyers we've met, and the planes we've flown. Here's a look at one of our favorite Aero TV classic episodes. Well, I think what we all have in common is that we, all, we love airplanes. They have to be masterfully flown to get maximum advantage. And it's a lifelong pursuit to fly an airplane well. 
During the Redbird migration 2015, Hartzell Propeller's Joe Brown gave a fascinating presentation regarding maintaining pilot proficiency. There's a lot more to this presentation than talking about props. Search Bettering Pilot Proficiency on Aero TV's news channel. After these messages, GoFundMe site is established for Injured Aviator. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Concord's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concord's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concord, the heart of your aircraft. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Family and friends of Bobby Boucher, who was badly injured in an aircraft accident earlier this month, are seeking donations for medical expenses through GoFundMe. She was conducting a high-speed taxi test with an experimental airplane when the aircraft unintentionally became airborne and crashed. Blue Origin's test of a single failed parachute on the crew capsule confirmed that the remaining two parachutes would result in a safe landing. It's hoped that paying passengers will be flying on suborbital flights in 2018. The U.S. Navy Blue Angels demonstration team has canceled their appearance at the Vero Beach Air Show this weekend. However, the Navy will still be represented by the Navy Strike Fighter Squadron 106 Tactical Demonstration Team. Blue Origin founder Jeff Bezos said there should be a major financial prize for a modern-day space race and the government should foot the bill. Bezos said that the horse race for such a prize would be very interesting and would create lots of attention. Bombardier announced that a customer who has requested to remain unidentified at this time has signed a firm purchase agreement for 10 CRJ-900 aircraft. Based on the list price of the CRJ-900 aircraft, the firm agreement is valued at approximately $472 million. Well, that's the trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. Last week at its annual membership meeting, the National Air Transportation Association announced the re-election of Andy Preister as chair of the NATA Board of Directors. Greg Schmidt was elected to serve as board vice chair. Also re-elected to serve an additional term was Clara Bennett and Gary Dempsey. Additionally, NATA elected two new members to its board of directors who are Clive Lowe, the senior vice president of Atlantic Aviation Services, and Christian Safai, the vice president and COO of TAC Air. Board Chairman Preister briefed the membership on changes to the association's management structure necessitated by the upcoming departure of President and CEO Thomas L. Hendricks, who is stepping down on August 31st. He said that Marty Hiller, the owner and partner of Marathon Jet Center, has agreed to serve as NATA's acting president. Preister concluded his statement by saying that, quote, NATA has in place a solid team and a long-term vision and will continue to help its members succeed in the aviation marketplace. Well, that's our program for today. Remember to get comprehensive real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily Monday through Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. Please join us in the growing roster of over 100 outstanding industry associations and organizations every weekday for the best in aviation and aerospace news. From the staff of the Aero News Network, the aviation world's most comprehensive news and information resource.